stage one, children in one and two. Welcome to my story corner. Now, thank you so much to everyone who voted for the story we were going to listen to today. Are you ready to find out what it is? Fantastic. It's Tidy. So this story is called Tidy and it's by Emily Gravitt. Now, Emily Gravitt is an amazing author who also does all her own illustrations. So every picture you see in this book, she has not only written the words that go with them, but she's also drawn the pictures. Isn't that amazing how talented she is? What do you notice about the story? What do you think it's about? That's right, there's an animal on the front. And what's he putting in the basket or the bin? Okay, so this is a badger and he's putting a leaf in a bin. How unusual. I don't think I've ever seen anyone put a leaf in a bin. Should we find out more about what's happening with this character? Okay, let's get started. Tidy by Emily Gravitt. Deep in the forest lived a bad badger called Pete, who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snipping off any that didn't quite match. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He untangled each knot and each twig and each burr. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks and then bathing them all. He picked up stray sticks and he swept and he rubbed. He polished the rocks, he scoured and he scrubbed. He's hoovering the grass. Hoovering up all the leaves. How strange. Oh, do you notice anything about the leaves on this page? Think about the front of the book. They were nice and green and now they're yellow and brown and orange. What season are we in? That's right, it's autumn. So when a leaf fell, oh, well, oh, my goodness, what a mess that will make. Pete tidied up. Oh dear. Popped all the leaves in those bags. But still, he wasn't happy. Now the trees looked bare and scrappy. And so, to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty He dug up every single tree. Shocking. But then it rained. There was a flood. And afterwards, a lot of mud. Sounds like Pete's worst nightmare. Pete called in the diggers. He called in the mixers. He called in the concrete, the rakers, the fixers. He's on a mission. No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees. Perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. The forest is perfectly perfect, said Pete. Does it look like a forest anymore? Mm, I didn't think so. I'm hungry, he thought. I deserve a treat. So we hunted around for something to eat. Mm. 
that the beetles and worms that he usually found were under the concrete, deep in the ground. And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner, he'd go straight to bed. But when he arrived and took out his key, oh dear, there wasn't a door where the door used to be. Later that night, Pete tossed and he turned. His belly was empty, it rumbled and churned. As he lay in the mixer, wide, wide awake, he started to think, I have made a big mistake. So, the very next morning, when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. He's got his friend the hare helping him. And the birds. Then the animals came from the strong to the weak and they lent him a paw or a claw or a beak. What are they doing? They're planting all the trees again. They put everything back as it always had been, but maybe less ordered and not quite as clean. And Pete, well, he promised to tidy up less, but if he succeeded, is anyone's guess. They're having a nice little picnic together with all of the bugs. Oh, what happened to the fox? Not as clean, is he? but I think they're much happier. That's the end of Tidy by Emily Gravett. Hope you've really enjoyed the story today. See you soon. <laughs>